Good morning. Today's lab is a spectrophotometric determination of the percentage of copper in brass. Alloys are mixtures of metals or a mixture of a metal and a non-metal. Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. The specific percentages of copper and zinc will vary. Brass can be anywhere between 65 to 90 percent copper. Today's lab is to determine the percentage of copper in a sample of brass. We will use a small piece of brass shot and we will determine the percentage first by dissolving it in nitric acid. When copper reacts with nitric acid, the copper is dissolved into copper two plus ions, which will make the appearance of the solution appear to be blue. The next step in the process is to transfer this solution that's created from the dissolution of copper and nitric acid. We'll transfer it to a 100 milliliter volumetric flask. The resulting solution will be diluted with water to bring the total solution volume to 100 milliliters. After this point, we'll take a small sample of this solution, place it in a test tube, and then measure the absorbance of the solution using a spectrophotometer. We will then make five solutions, five standard solutions of copper two plus ions, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and 0.05, and we'll measure the absorbances of each solution. The purpose of this is to be able to determine or create a calibration curve from which we'll be able to determine the concentration of our dissolved brass solution. On the screen is data that you will find is very similar to the data that you will use to calculate the mass of copper in your sample. To the right is the calibration plot which shows the concentrations of various copper 2 plus ion solutions plotted against their absorbances. And the problem reads, the mass of a brass screw is measured at 0.844 grams. The screw is then dissolved completely in nitric acid. The resulting solution is diluted to a volume of 100 milliliters using a volumetric flask. The absorbance of the copper 2 plus ions in the solution is measured at 0.301. A calibration curve is generated using solutions of copper 2 plus ions of various concentrations. A plot and data are shown to the right. What is the percentage by mass of copper in the screw? So utilizing the calibration uh, plot, we can see that the slope of the line being 2.9757, that tells us that the product of the molar absorptivity constant uh, times the path length of the cuvette is 2.9757 inverse molar. Again, using Beer's law, we can calculate the concentration of our dissolved brass solution at 0.101 molar. Using the volume of the solution at 0.100 liters, we can calculate the mass of the copper in the sample by multiplying the volume by the molarity of the solution, which is 0.101, and multiplying that by the molar mass of copper. From this calculation, we get 0.642 grams of copper. Since the mass of the screw is given in the problem at 0.844 grams, we can use the calculated mass of copper in our sample and we can divide this by the mass of the brass screw and we arrive at a percentage of copper at 76%. I'm going to measure the uh, brass shot. Um, I'm going to place the weight board on the scale. Zero that out. Okay, so the mass of the brass shot is 0.4853 grams. Okay, at this point, I'm going to dissolve the mass brass shot in about five milliliters of six molar nitric acid.
already see I'm getting a fairly vigorous reaction. Oops. I'm just going to uh, let that sit until the brass is completely dissolved. Okay, so the brass is now dissolved. Uh, notice that the solution appears to be a fairly deep blue. There is some condensation on the top of the watch glass. I'm going to have to uh, wash that uh, into the beaker with my wash bottle. And uh, when this cools down, I'm going to transfer this to a 250 milliliter volumetric flask. Transferring my solution to the flask. Hopefully I won't spill it as I try to film it. Okay, so notice that the solution is nowhere near the top of the neck. So I'm going to, first of all, wash this uh, beaker out to make sure I get all of the copper ions, and then I'm going to dilute with water to that mark. That is a much better, much better shot of it. You can see that I've pretty much hit the mark there. So I've made a 0.5 molar solution of copper ions. Notice the appearance is much darker than the copper ions from the sample. From this stock solution, I'm going to make five additional solutions of different concentrations, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and 0.05 molar in order to generate a calibration curve. Oh, we're not in? Yeah. So this is the spectral photometer. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is set the wavelength to 620 nanometers. Let me make sure that's exactly 620. The spectral photometer was set at 620 because blue absorbs maximally in that range. Okay, so this is the measurement of the absorbance of the stock solution. This is the 0.5 molar solution of copper ions. The first absorbance is 0.786. So this is the second absorbance measurement. This is the absorbance of the 0.4 molar solution. This is 0.722. Okay, this is the absorbance of the third solution. This is the 0.2 molar solution. The absorbance is 0.308. Okay, this is the absorbance of the 0.1 molar solution. The absorbance is 0.147. Okay, this is the absorbance of the last solution. This is the 0 0.05 molar solution. The absorbance is 0 0.073. This is the uh, solution from our sample from the dissolved shot. We'll take the absorbance of this solution and that, that will be it. The absorbance of our sample solution is 0 0.087. 75 years later. Thank you for calling. This is Christine. How can I help you? Hi, I have a question about one of your products. Uh, you sell something called Brass Shot. I can give you the product number if you want. Uh, it's AP7643B. I just had okay. a qu question about the brass itself. Like, if you could answer, I'm not sure if you can or not, but what's the sure. what's the percentage of, of copper in uh, this brass? Okay, let me see here. Much, much, much later. Okay, so this is 70% uh, 70 copper, 30% zinc. 
Excellent. 70% copper. Okay. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. On the screen is all the data that you'll need to calculate the percentage of copper in your brass sample. The calibration curve to the left is shown with the corresponding equation of the line. The mass of the brass sample is given at 0.4853. And the absorbance of the brass sample is shown and the volume of the dissolved brass solution is given at uh, 100 milliliters. So using this information, you should be able to determine the percentage of copper in your sample.